Okay, let's start. So I was talking about Sabin command at Pune in 1908, which has uh, six divisions, two cores, and three brigades. Fine. So I will be telling you something about these uh, two things as well, uh, rather these three different things as well. Right. So in this case, uh, as I said, it consists of two cores, three brigades, and six divisions. So in this particular case, I will just uh, write write its its uh, uh, course. Right? So it has twelve cops, right? Which is at Jodhpur. Now see to uh, which place it has extended, and another is twenty first cop at Bhopal. So, uh, this is about the southern command, which we can consider. Fine. Now, in this particular case, uh, if I wish to write the brigades, then I can write the uh, brigades such as uh, fourth armored brigade. Fourth armored brigade the next one we can consider is 340th mechanized brigade right and i think the last one is 475th engineering brigade engineering brigade Fine. So this is about the uh, fourth command called Southern Command. Fine. Let's go to the fifth one. So we have written the fifth one as the Northern Command. Northern Command. Now see, its its headquarter is at uh udhampur which is in in the uh, jammu and kashmir right so we can consider the four, uh, fifth command uh, northern command which is at uh, whose headquarter is at udhampur right which is in j and k you know this is in Maharashtra. Fine. So this is the case. Now, if you consider uh, its existence, so it was initially established in 1908 and it was in function till 1947. In 1947, it was dysfunctioned and again it was started or it was came into existence in 1972. Right, so we will uh, write it as 1972 till date. Fine. So this is the Northern Command, which is which is at Udhampur in J and K. So currently, I will write at present. What it has now? I will change this. Seven divisions. Uh, three co-ops or the course and one brigade right and one brigade fine so this is uh, the case which we can consider about the northern command now for example if you consider the division 19th infantry division which is at Baramulla right or third infantry division which is at layer if you if you consider the dras sector which is which is having eighth mountain division right or if you consider the 25th division which is at rajori right so some of these things you must have uh, heard because of that i have just uh, taken the names right 
you, you might have heard something about in stories or you might have heard or seen in, in any of the movies. So I will just put down the uh, cops. Right? So uh, 14 cops, which is at Lay. Then 15th cops, which is at Srinagar. Right? 16th cops, which is at uh, Nagrota. And the last thing which we can write here is the brigade. Right. So the name of that brigade is 10 artillery brigade. Right. So the case which we can consider is this one right so this is about the fifth command called northern command right now if you consider the next command which we can write as the sixth command and the name which we have already written is i think south Western command. Can you think where it could be? By by its name, can you think? Probably the logically you can go to that side. Yes because it shows uh, south and western side, right? right. But anyway, your, your tribe was uh, good, but it is not in either of the answers you have uh, stated here. So it is, it is, uh, situated at Jaipur, right? So, just by the logic we have put, its name could be uh, what we can say, West Northern Command. Likewise, anyway, right? So Jaipur, which is in Rajasthan, right? So this is situated or its headquarters is in uh, the Rajasthan, fine. And this is the most youngest, one of the most youngest commands, right, which has very recently uh, came into existence, right, and that is in 2005. Right? 2005. So, till that, fine. Now, if you consider this command, right, which has at present uh, the currently it has seven divisions, two corps, and three brigades. Fine. Seven divisions, two corps, and three brigades. Fine. So here, if you consider the uh, corps, which are two. First is first corps, which is at Mathura, and then tenth corps. It is at Bhatinda. You must have heard this name in one of the movies. Right. Ten Corps, it is in Bhatinda. Fine. And there are three brigades. Right. Okay, let me put it down. So these, these three brigades are the sixth independent 
armored brigade sixth independent armored brigade right then 615th uh, independent year defense brigade and last brigade which we can consider is 471st uh, engineering brigade engineering brigade now see what what you can understand or what you should understand from these details so i think maybe in one of the previous sessions i said uh, uri was being carried out right by the army but how the army men have gone there so obviously they have gone there by uh, by the aerial route right and that aerial route was no doubt it must have been uh, taken care of by the air force but no right so if you consider it is uh, uh, the the movie shows that it is the equipment belonging to the army by the color right not to the air force that means it must have been in the army so here you can see the air defense brigade right so that particular case you you can and the last brigade which we can consider here is the training command sorry not brigade training command training command which is at shimla right in yes himachal pradesh right himachal pradesh fine see it was established in 1991 and it is functioning till date right so if you uh, consider its establishment it was established in 1991 uh, at maho right so this maho is in the state of madhya pradesh right but uh, moved to shimla in in the in the 1993 exactly on march 31st right so uh, it's its purpose is to to maximize effectiveness effectiveness of the training see the the movements of these kinds of these are regularly happen right uh, for example uh, in in last year only right uh, one one of the officers academy uh, is being shut down right so actual case is it is shut down but government said that it is moved to somewhere else and it is not moved to somewhere else and that that officers training academy is nothing but the officers training academy gaya right where you people you people i mean the the students after 12th right so effectiveness effectiveness fine so uh
Okay, that I am coming to that point. What these numbers and why why we have just considered that one, right? So here again, as I said, uh, I have also said early that you should not worry about these things, right? So this is all together. Now see, uh, you do have a two two uh, students, right? Who is having a name, say Ashok, and another is also having a name Ashok. So every time there will be the uh, miss uh, confusion or the let's say mislead right among these two which one is so obviously you might be putting your own identities or your own uh, names to them or you will be simply calling them their name al along with their surname right so here you can see independent armor armored brigades right or the engineering brigades so if you simply call only one brigade or only one engineering uh, brigade, so that will not make the difference. So in order to make difference, these numbers are there, right? So I was talking about the movement of these things. So these are always being there and uh, these, these have to be, uh, what we can say, uh, the, the regular operations, right? So in between, I have also gone through the, uh, your officers training academy, Gaya. Right. So let me put something about this one first. So this command is nodal agency for all institutional uh, training in the army. Right. So it is a nodal agency for uh, all institutional training. One more thing, don't consider that this is the only command which is giving training to every army man, right? It is not. Right? What, what, this, what I said, nodal agency. So what kind of training changes should be there? That will be approved by this one. What kind of things should be, uh, let's say, uh, implied, right? Or employed, that will be decided by this. What kind of things should not be deployed? That will be always decided by this thing, right? That doesn't mean that only this command will give training to each and every army man. It never happens, right? So, but it is a nodal agency for all these things. So in this case, what you should take away from here? So here you should take away a case, if I write here, so army, right? Uh, commanded by general. And now you are going to small and small part of this. So I think after army, uh, after army, it comes to the commands, right? Which is uh, headed by Lieutenant General. The next to this comma, uh, comes is division, which is uh, headed by Major General. Next to the division, it comes a brigade right which is always uh, commanded by brigadier right or you can consider here the regiment right so optional name to the brigade you can have regiment fine then after brigade uh, you will be coming to the unit right which is always being uh, commanded by the colonel right so these are the things see basically you will be having this part right so see this is this is all together uh, by these things so this is being divided into these uh, seven these different uh, units which are called seven different commands now each of these command is having certain divisions and which are looked after by major general right then there will be brigades there will be unit right and this unit will be again further divided into, if I write for it, for your understanding, right? So it will be divided into company, right? The companies will be divided into uh, platoons and the platoons will be divided into sections, right? So this is the very uh, smallest uh, thing which you can consider, fine. Now see again one more thing. 
if you here one thing is not re, uh, reflecting and that particular thing is called course right or the cops right so see these are the uh, independent independent services right or the parallel services which are always uh, in, in which are always supporting to the army no doubt right but these are not the part of this fine i mean uh, by structure fine so they independent they are independent so in this case uh, you can have the command division brigade right so you have now command so in the command you have to always consider division brigade and is there any corps or not right so these three these three things are important and later on you will be going to the uh, the smaller and smaller and you will be reaching to the no doubt the last one is soldier right where you can see this so this this particular part is again going down and down right so the company is always looked up by uh, the lieutenant uh, colonel right and then again in the in the in that company there will be uh, see the formation of these is fixed right that so and so company or a company will have uh, these many captains these many lieutenants and these many general majors right so that is always the case right so these are uh, this is related to the structure of the uh, the basic structure of the uh, army which is divided into seven different commands so i think that's it from this side in this session if the, if there is any query or the question you can raise it so that i may uh, answer it it might have been a uh, little bit technical right but uh, initially you will you you seems to be uh, let's say fed up with these things but should not worry about it as i said don't try to eat in the in the first attempt only i think it is not showing a good quality just a minute now it might be better once you go through these things then something interesting will definitely come in front of you so that you will you will love these things as well at that time see never forget while attending the sessions that uh, you are doing the you are you are doing the uh, foundation and foundation must be strong right so in foundation if some gap is remaining there then you can imagine what what may happen right so this should not be there uh, after unit i think it was the uh, section right what i said is the uh, sorry after unit it was company and that company may get divided into different sections and pl platoons and sections so if you have no query tomorrow you might be having queries on these things
अभिजीत वॉट यू हैव रिटर्न क्वेश्चन आई कुड एंड गेट इट माइ क्वेश्चन हैव यू पुट इट आर क्वेश्चन आस्ट इन एन डी एग्जाम विच आर बेस्ट ऑन दिस कमांड्स यस uh not exactly depending on command right but uh, which are which are definitely going through this path right see obviously the questions have been there uh, on the ranks okay so quickly you just take it down and now i will be leaving the meeting because the time is over you have to attend the next session rushikesh sir Yes, sir. I'm finished now. I will be quitting the meeting. Okay, sir. Yes. Try to join now. There will be the mass lecture. I reopen this session currently. Try to rejoin. Try to rejoin. I open this session again. Try to rejoin. Mass lecture will be there.